What's going on, guys, and welcome back. Since DeFi has gotten so popular, there's been a big problem on the Ethereum network, that being that gas prices can get crazy high and uh, mainly push a lot of people out of using the DeFi ecosystem because of the gas prices. One way that we can solve this is by using uh, side chains or layer two solutions um, known as Plasma or rollups known as optimistic or ZK rollups. Uh, these are these are not just going to be used now when we don't have ETH 2.0, um, but they can also be used with ETH 2.0 to help with uh, congestion even when ETH 2.0 uh, is launched, which is also supposed to increase throughput on the main Ethereum layer one chain. So I just wanted to do a quick rundown of the differences between Plasma ZK rollups and optimistic rollups, uh, just to, to give you an idea of how each of one of them works and um, why uh, some of them are better at certain things and why others are better at other things. This is uh, just a very high over high level overview of the technologies. I will be posting links of all of these in the description if you want to check them out and go into into a deeper dive. Um, but this stuff can get pretty technically heavy um, if you're not familiar with uh, blockchain tech. So first, I'm going to start with the Plasma here. The core principle of Plasma is to scale Ethereum by offloading the transactions off-chain onto the Layer 2 sidechain and submitting the state transactions to the Ethereum mainnet periodically. In this way, it improves its throughput and lowers transaction fees. So this is just mainly like batch transactions uh, in a credit card system instead of doing each one uh, at a time on the credit card network, you can just do a bunch of them at once and save on credit card fees. Uh, gas stations usually do this. Well-architected and technically sound projects like LeverJ, Matic, and OhMysGo are built on Plasma. Um, OhMysGo is now known as OMG. Uh, since each transaction is not submitted to the mainnet by design, data unavailability has been one of the most challenging bits for Plasma. If everything is published, things can be reconciled. But in the absence of data, establish, establishing the truth is troublesome. Plasma implementations like Gluon, Pas Gluon Plasma handle such situations using a consensus-based vote to halt the projects like Matic. Uh, and Ma projects like Matic use a backing proof-of-stake chain to resolve this issue. Theoretically, Rollup, Rollup seems to avoid the problem of data unavailabil unavailability completely. To address the problem, researchers turn to another solution, rollups. So Matic is um, probably a name that you've heard in the DeFi space and on uh, revolving around Ethereum in general. Uh, they do use a Plasma chain, which um, uh, works pretty well as far as uh, as far as speed goes and lowering transaction costs. The, another one, obviously, you might have heard that uh, OMG is working with Tether to um, move a lot of the Tether transactions to their Plasma chain, to uh, OMG's Plasma chain. Now we're just gonna run into rollups. Uh, rollup and Plasma are similar in many ways. They both scale Ethereum by moving transactions off chain onto a side chain. Ethereum mainnet holds all funds deposited into the side chain and maintains proof of state, I'm sorry, proof of the side chain state. The side chain itself is maintained by users and operators off chain separate from the L1 main chain. Rollups come in a few different flavors. The most popular ones are ZK Rollup and Optimistic Rollups. Um, ZK Rollups increase the scalability through mass transfer process rolled into a single transaction. The aggregation and validation are completed via ZK Snarks, reducing the transaction costs, guaranteeing the security and ensuring the data availability. ZK rollup bundles hundred ZK rollups bundles hundreds of transfers into a single transaction. The layer one smart contract deconstructs and verifies all the transfers rolled up into a single transaction. This approach reduces computing and storage costs. So you can see that ZK rollups with um, the way that it batches everything is um, a little bit different than Plasma, as these things are hitting the main chain pretty much immediately where the um, the plasma the plasma chain will periodically update the state on the contract um, where rollups actually happen um, almost in real time. Now we'll get into optimistic rollups. One of the main problems with zk rollups 
is that it takes too much time to generate a snark proof and it does not support commonly used smart contract standards. So this is a big one here. Um, I think I believe that a lot of people that are working with rollups believe that ZK rollups are the future, but as it stands, uh, and I believe this is the case as of now, ZK rollups do not handle a lot of the smart contract code. So anything that is um, more complex than just transferring tokens is not gonna uh, work with ZK rollups yet. I'm sure that it could probably do stuff more than just transferring tokens or transferring ETH, but um, you start getting into something like um, a decentralized exchange or, or anything that might be a little bit more complex than um, optimistic rollups must be used until ZK rollups are, are able to do it. In June 2019, John Adler, the Ethereum scalability researcher, came up with the optimistic rollup solution, which combines the advantages of ZK rollup and the fraud proof mechanism of Plasma. The name optimistic indicates that the aggregators are trusted to publish the most up-to-date and correct data onto the blockchain without committing frauds. Otherwise, they will be challenged and punished once failed to be verified. This solution ensures to scale Ethereum while still being secured. So this is um, a little bit similar to um, how Ethereum 2.0 is, is handling um, their proof of stake and, and punishments um, it, it basically prevents fraud by by punishing people if they commit fraud. So there is a nice chart here that shows um, the difference between Loopring, which is um, one of the few ZK Rollup um, beta exchanges out there that's running on ZK Rollups and LeverJ, which is a plasma chain. Uh, so you can see that they're both live. Um, that uh, LeverJ is using a Gluon Plasma chain and that Loopring is using a ZK rollups. Uh, transactions are stored on the mainnet, obviously, with Loopring because they're just batched and then shot up to the main chain in one batch, batch transaction. And um, with LeverJ, every, everything is stored on the side chain and then periodically synced. Um, uh, LeverJ obviously has its own side chain explorer because it has its own chain. Uh, it uses fraud proof for. Um, prevention of fraud and zero knowledge proof for the prevention of fraud on Loopring. And it has down here um, the costs involved in the deposit times. We're going to get a little bit deeper into the, the withdrawal um, aspect because there is, um, with optimistic rollups, there is something that Vitalik had brought up just a few days ago about uh, the time that it must take in order to withdraw from um, an optimistic rollup transaction versus a ZK rollup transaction. So th this, this gives you a basic idea of the difference between a plasma chain and a ZK rollup um, transaction um, between Loopring and LeverJ here. Um, one thing here that I brought up is, um, you know, the, the difference between ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. Um, ZK rollup will fix several fundamental issues with optimistic rollups. It will eliminate a nasty tail risk theft of funds from optimistic rollup via intricate yet viable attack vectors. It will reduce withdrawal times from one to two weeks to a few minutes, enable fast transaction confirmations and exits in practically unlimited volumes, and introduce privacy by default because. Um, it's using ZK Snarks, which is a privacy uh, way of trans transacting on the Ethereum blockchain. Optimistic rollups is great news for ZK rollups. The transition to layer two scaling requires significant challenges in wallets, oracles, dApps, and user habits. Optimistic rollups can help to prepare the ecosystem for this move, bringing to scale to those dApps that cannot yet be built on ZK rollup today. This will give ZK Rollup time to mature and make its adoption completely seamless while maintaining Ethereum's growth momentum. So again, this comes back to the fact that optimistic rollups right now, um, I believe I'm correct, but feel free to correct me, uh, that optimistic rollups can handle um, most, if not all smart contract code, but ZK Rollups cannot handle them yet. So optimistic rollups is the way that a lot of of uh, companies are going these days or a lot of projects are going with because it works right now and it helps scale very well. Um, 
as far as this is another um, uh, table here that goes into blow this up a bit. So you can see that we have plasma optimistic and ZK transactions per second. Um, over 5,000 for Plasma. Plasma is super fast as far as how many um, it can scale. And you can actually do layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, as many layers as you want and just keep getting more and more bandwidth. Um, but it does not work for smart contracts, which is a big thing on Ethereum. And um, the gas cost is fixed per blas Plasma block. The optimistic rollups um, can do up to 2,000 per rollup. Um, it can work with smart contracts and um, the, the gas costs increases linearly per transaction. ZK rollups um, can do uh, situationally more than 2000 transactions per second. I guess that's, um, we'll wait to see on that. They're hoping to have smart contract support in the future, um, which will hopefully help because uh, the main difference here is that ZK rollups are more secure than optimistic rollups. And one thing with ZK rollups is, is that you'll be able to withdraw transactions. So you'll be able to, a transaction that was submitted via ZK rollup, um, you'll be, you can withdraw from Ethereum pretty much within minutes versus the week that is required using optimistic rollups. There are ways around the week time frame, but by increasing it to a week, you are making things less secure than if you were using ZK rollups. So a combination of these two, hopefully in the future, will 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 bring something uh, good as far as scaling goes. As far as gas cost goes with uh, ZK rollups, increases linearly per transaction and proof. Um, this is the OMG. Um, is using Plasma right now to um, help with projects like Tether. And um, it Plasma works very well for doing something like just simple transfers, um, token transfers or ETH transfers. Um, and it's something that I that I believe will, will continue. I think we'll have a lot of these um, ZK optimistic and Plasma chains working together in the future. Uh, you can see here that um, a lot of DeFi projects are, are choosing Optimism as for their for their scaling solution. Um, Synthetics, um, I think we have it right here too. Yeah, Synthetics, Uniswap, and Chainlink are working together to um, to 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 get as as much out of uh, optimistic rollups as possible. Um, this is um, the Optimism. Um, organization, which is which is working to make optimistic rollups as successful as possible. And they've been working really hard to, to get optimistic rollouts working well and getting more and more uh, dApps on board. You can see here that Synthetics is the first project that will be using optimistic rollups, and then they'll be doing an, another dApp after Synthetics has been running for a bit, third here, and then they'll just continue. Um, with the main net here. Um, last, I just wanted to show you that um, on October 3rd, which was uh, what, five, four days ago, uh, Vitalik had posted this saying, quick knowledge poll test, why do withdrawals from plasma and optimistic rollups require one week delay? What are the withdrawals in progress waiting for? And you can see that the answer here is because of challenges and fraud proofs. So. Like I said before, if you read further into some of these articles that I'm going to post in the description, you will be able to see that there are ways to make these things faster. I believe Matic, since they are they are a plasma chain, they do have a way of doing faster withdrawals than a week. But the security to make it to make it very secure, it looks like zk rollups are the best way to do that. Uh, that's all 